We're all mad here. Hey guys, welcome to the Madness Media YouTube channel. My name's Brian. Uh, this is going to be the Outer World Saga Episode 5, I believe, right? 5? Yeah. Yeah, we got the first two up. I'm putting the new next, the second one up today, and then hopefully they'll be coming out every Saturday and Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, let's see. Last time we left the Groundbreaker and went to back to Terra Two to a um, Auntie Cleo this, uh, settlement where a bunch of Raptodons were running around because some Marauders tried to go there and steal some information from them. We pretty much did everything we needed to on that. And we just gotta turn everything in quick before we head out. And then I think our next place we gotta go is Monarch, but not 100% yet. We'll see how it goes. I think we might do a couple side quests. That will take us to a couple different areas. Uh, oh, yep, we got Felix and Ellie with us right now. We picked them up on the Groundbreaker. Uh, Jesus Christ. Look at that shit. Scare the crap out of you. Now let's see. I, I cannot remember any of the missions that we had. Weapons from the Void. Speak with Vaughn. Yeah, we got a couple of... A uh, couple of one. Install the assets deeper. Take Vardy to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Okay. Okay, well, let's go turn in as many of these as I can. We'll just start with this one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Damn mines. Oh, let's see. How was. My week was alright. Uh, just was working. We ended up putting, putting down one of my cats this week. He was, uh, we, we've had him for 10 years, so it was a little difficult. That's why I didn't stream on Thursday, because I was a little too hammered to do that. <laughs> but it was it was for the best, I mean. He was peeing all over the house, and just getting old. But other than that, uh, oh, I applied for college again. I'm going to see if I can't go become a computer programmer. I, uh... I don't know, I was going to school to, become, to be a computer engineer, but I was partying a little too hard back in those days. Ended up getting two DUIs and taking about three years off now, and it's it's time to go back. I'm excited for it. If, if they take me, I don't know if they will yet. I applied at the beginning of the week, and I haven't heard a thing from them yet, so a little nervous there. I don't see. I don't think I'll. They, they they should accept me. They pretty much accept everybody. So if they don't accept me, then that's just like a little disappointing. <laughs> Any news on the thing we spoke about? You know, the thing. Um, I found your experiment. Don't keep me in suspense. Did you get my stuff? I mean, not mine. This is for other parties, buyers. This guy's so sleazy. I've got all yours. This is gonna make me so popular. I mean, with the people who buy it, not by using it, because I'm not. <laughs> um. So, what kind of reward were you planning to offer? Take this. You earned it. If you run into me again after all this is over, maybe I'll have more. Pleasure doing business with you. <sighs> Very nice. Ooh, eighteen hundred bucks. Okay. Um, buy his bootstraps. What is that clicking noise? Oh, they got chickens. Are these just straight up chickens? Huh. They must have brought them from Earth when they came over. You think so? I bet that's what happened. Oh, this prick. Oh, it's you. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Ugh. Ugh. I let the outlaws keep your research. I found your associate, Jameson. He's safe. Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? 
only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. Um... You know, there's more to care about than black marks and paperwork. Not in this colony, there isn't. But success here will get me to Byzantium. I'll have recognition, money, proper facilities. It's the only place to lead a life of meaning in this system. I suppose it's none of my business. Goodbye. Okay. Um. Return to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. Find three ball. Oh, yeah, that one. Well. Guess we'll go turn in this one. Oh, hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Um, yeah, you asked me to grab your prototype schematics from storage. Ah, yes. Very good. And have you done that? Got them right here. What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. Oh, um... Hold on. Force weapons are contraband. Why didn't you turn this in when you found it? Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. Intimidate, and what's your secrecy worth, I wonder? Persuade. These are valuable schematics. I could sell them for quite the profit. Hmm. Sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. Um... Deal. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now, let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and... Voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I there we go. With this. Uh, you take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model. Hot off the presses. I'll, uh, call you? Yes, I'll call you. Huh. All right. Always leveling up. Let's see. Damn, why is my ranged weapons down? Um, I don't know. We're getting to that point where everything's pretty much... to dialogue skills, increase carrying capacity, bonus for companions, 50% consumable weight, 15% health restored per kill, I already got that one, 20% companion ability cooldowns, 20% chance to reset a companion ability cooldown when the others is used. I forget how to use my companion abilities. 25% chance to reset a companion ability cooldown on each critical hit. Uh, mm. Well, I don't know. We could up the base armor, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Where the hell was I going now? Is that everybody? Are we done here? Find Captain Irion. Oh, I guess we'll do this one next. Track down Reginald Cheney. Take take the party to the. Okay. Okay. So we're done here. God. Thank God. I don't know. Colonies are a silly place, that's for sure. I would hate to live here. I say it every episode and I'll continue to say it. I don't know. It'd be fun. 
but it also suck ass. <laughs> I wonder how long this game takes. I think I read somewhere it's about 30 hours. And I don't know if that's 30 hours just the main story or 30 hours. You know, I'm doing all of it. I bet it's about, I don't know, if you do everything, I bet it's got to be about a 60 hour game. So we're probably looking at about 60 or so episodes. <laughs> it's a long time, a lot of episodes. It's about half a year, right? Yeah, it'd take about 25 weeks. Well, a little over than that. A little over that. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet in the entry bay. Don't tell Thank me. You. Don't tell me what to do on my ship, Ada. If I want to drag blood all over this silly place, I will. All right, let's go to Scylla quick. Destination reached. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's get that robot up and running, huh? I think I got everything we need. Yeah, buddy. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer. This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? Uh, yes. Registering new owner, Captain. Welcome to the crew, Sam. SAM units live to clean and clean to live. <laughs> okay. Nice. We got us a robot. Let's go take him for a test drive, huh? So, we'll just keep rotating around here. Um, continue. Man, do you think, I, I don't know. I wonder if we'll ever have the technology to terraform asteroids and shit like that. Stella, no laws, no lines, and a whole lot of guns. I love this place. Let's get fresh! Oh my god, that guy is a little creepy. <laughs> now, I wanna try something while I'm here. The last time I played, I freaking tried to go explore over here a little bit. And I just got my ass whooped by a bunch of goddamn robots. Like this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Little bastard. Where's his weak spot at? You make it dirty, Sam cleans it up. I got another fight me. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, I was right up here and I was just, I just got my freaking ass whooped. And I want to see what the hell's up here, so we're going to give it another shot. Place never even had a bar. No wonder it's abandoned. Good hygiene prevents an early onset of. Oh, damn. Damn, Sam just frickin' kicking their ass.
shit. He won't show me his weak spot, damn it. Whew. Thank God for this gun. God damn it. Yeah, see, last time I didn't have any electrical weapons and they just mopped the fucking floor with me. Hmm. Let's see what's going on in here, huh? I hope I find something good. Nice going. Thanks, Ellie. You're such a such a pal. Always Ooh, what's this? Purple berry liquor. Hmm. Liquor, I mean. Liquor, liquor. What the hell? Impact Hammer Mark II. I don't know if that was really worth it, but... Oh well. You know how much one of these would cost to make? It'd be absolutely absurd. No challenge is too large, no mess is too small. You <laughs> credible research on the health effects of standing directly under a terraformer, Captain. In case you were wondering. <laughs> Apparently it's not how good for you because it was just harming me. Uh, Shit. Oh shit, no. You get him, Sam. Holy crap, did I blow his head off? any of that. Yeah, these plasma guns, man, they, they're devastating to most things. Captain should be right over here. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess we're just going... He just sits there. What a jackass. <laughs> Alright. God, that we made quick work of those guys, huh? work friend here I was readying a daring maneuver and you've come and saved me the trouble why does that sound familiar uh -oh, it's Ellie excellent timing hello Ellie what a pleasure it is to see your sparkling beauty in this barren waste what a player it's dr. Fenhill do you two know each other I certainly know his ex-crew Mostly from the operating table. I've probably seen more of them than he has. Ooh, How damn. How cool you are. I distinctly remember a special party at the Lost Hope Bar on Groundbreaker where we... We did not. Oh, fine. But we almost... 
keep going and you're gonna see how good this automech is at picking up teeth. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. <laughs> I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Uh, let's see. Sure, buddy, what were they after? Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Um... Captain Irian, I take it? The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? She did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Uh, you ought to be thanking me. You're lucky you're alive. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. And farewell to you, dear Dr. Fenhill. I trust I'll see you next I find myself on the Groundbreaker. You'd better hope not. Hmm, what a piece of shit. Um... Let's see, I don't think anything else. We can get the hell out of here. Yeah! Well, that's not too bad. So we definitely are for sure going to be coming back here to... I bet there's a mission over there in that mining facility. Um... Where's the big guy coming up at? Right behind me, okay. So, we'll go turn in this nav key. Oh, I thought you died. Come on now. You just gotta aim for those little blue parts when you're fighting those robots, but sometimes they're hard to hit. Especially on those... Oh, the walker ones are a little harder to hit because it's just that one little square box on their chest. Okay. I like this robot. He is gonna come in handy. Back to the groundbreaker. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. And this time, we at least have to take Brevardi with us. So we'll take Brevardi and Sam. This should be interesting. <laughs> Because <laughs> we're going to go drink it with Provardio. I want to see what Sam's dialogue is. <laughs> oh, man. I had a rough weekend. I stayed up on Friday until 4 in the morning. It was absolutely ridiculous. So drunk. <laughs> ah, there we go. I'm so glad I got this futon from my bedroom. I have a pretty small room, so it really opens it up a lot. Okay, so we got quite a few things to do on the groundbreaker again. Uh, we gotta stop at the Lost Hope and take a drink with Provardi. Do we get a table? 
Stand in a corner. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Um, okay. Um, let's see. You're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with the beer. You're new to the whole loosening up thing. How about wine? If you really want to get drunk, whiskey he is efficient. Well, that's what I'm aiming for. So I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up. Warning. Cleaning substance is flammable. Oh. No, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Um... Going on a grand adventure across Halcyon? You're funny. Yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of a cereal. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I think I'm flubbing mine. I don't know what to do about... us. Hmm. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Hmm. <sighs> Let's do... No one sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Uh, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. <laughs> What'd she actually write in the message you haven't said? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Hmm. She might. Thinking so makes me liable to lose my lunch, Captain. I never... I never done this before. A relationship. How do I know if she cares the same way I do? I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Um, maybe you should quit while you're ahead and standing. Alright, same as before. No more whiskey. I think another would leave me on the floor. Well, wine it is. Gosh, that smells pretty almost. Like flowers gone a little off. Down it goes. Hey, that's... that's not so bad. Kind of almost nice, maybe. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. You just met her, man. Gosh. Um. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Oof. Don't stop there, you're on a roll. No wonder you're scared. There's an easy way to get answers to all these those questions. Fuck if I know, I'm just here for the booze. <laughs> Don't stop there, you're on a roll. Don't you tease me in my moment of weakness. <laughs> you know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Hmm. Then you go your separate ways. We have that in common. You know I'm not interested in physical affection either. Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? So you're afraid of disappointing her? You can't control how people react to you, even if you care about people. What do you mean, Captain? Mm, the only thing you control is you. Trying to manage others' feelings will drive you crazy. Hmm. 
So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Something to work on then, we all do. So what? Something to work on then. Yeah. I like the way you put that. Like, it's okay to want to be better for her, and not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So are you going to ask her out? Oh, gosh. I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Go for it, Pervardi. You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Right when we get back to the shit. Ship. <laughs> I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. I know it. Warning. Low battery. Unit is engaging reserve pack. While using the reserve pack, unit may periodically enter a rest cycle. If unit does not wake, consult manual 81-XC5. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. We'll find that place. Come on, let's go. Does he really shut down? Dust accumulation analysis. 2.5 years. Good work, Sam. Thank you, customer. Sam, we guarantee you it's the only sanitation and maintenance unit you'll ever need. So where did you come from? <laughs> okay, back to work, Sam. Damn, look at all these mag packs. Okay, look at the two mag packs, I guess. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Uh... I investigated this distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. About those secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? I found a toothpaste formula, but then I unfound it. I acquired some research on Raptodon Musk, but I found another buyer. I found a prototype weapon schematic for force, but I lost it. Oh, great. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. God damn it, I fucked it up, didn't I? A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a patch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. Mm. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. And... Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Oh. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear. Oh, I guess we got enough to buy it. Hard to <laughs> you should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. God damn it, I had to just fuck all that no. up, didn't I? Was there anything else? No. Yeah, let's see what you got for I trade. I found a handsome ceramic mandapillar at a salvage auction last week. God, she's just like an old lady, isn't she? Love it. Uh, I'll get rid of all my junk. Wow, we must have had a lot of money because I still have $10,000. That's pretty crazy. Um, let's see. 
Wow, gonna pay me a whole 14 bits for that, huh? Okay. Welcome back, Captain. Hey, Ada. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Put him on screen. Well done. Your love, Monarch. Exotic climate to violent native species. Fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Just tell me what to do. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. All right, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Damn straight. We got this. Ooh, 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 look at that. Oh, wait, damn it. There's a mission I want to... Oh, yeah, fuck it. We can do it later. Off to Monarch. Where's Byzantium? Is it on Olympus? The largest of Halcyon's two Jovian gas giants, perpetual storms rack the planet's atmosphere, rendering it uninhabitable. Area Halcyon's second Javian gas giant. Its atmosphere is rich with hydrogen, helium, and various noble gases. Distillation plants in the atmosphere harvest these gases for energy. Named after its hellish atmosphere, Tartarus is where the board maintains the maximum security penal complex known as the Labyrinth. What the hell's right here? Hmm. Typhon, an uninhabitable icy planetoid on the at the edge of the Halcyon system. Typhon has nothing to offer the Halcyon colony. Hephaestus, the closest planet to the sun. The Hephaestus mining company was first to establish outposts here, and as such, it has claimed the planet for itself. An idyllic terrestrial planet, planet Halcyon's wealthiest elite live in this capital city, Byzantium, while the colony's laborers live in corporate-owned townships along the frontier. So that's where Byzantium is. Okay. Well, I wonder what's right here. There's obviously something here, but we just don't know about it yet. <coughs> Let's head for Monarch. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. <laughs> well done, Ada. Well done. Let's go ahead and head out. I think, let's see, we're going to take Vicar Max and Pravardi. All right. <sighs> Had to stretch, sorry. Monarch is a shitty place. Like, I don't know how anybody lives here. Just the bugs alone. I would never step foot on this planet. Ooh, we'll finally get to see the good old Manta Queen. I think that's like the biggest enemy in the game. Honestly. But I don't know for sure. I barely haven't gotten too far into the game before. Ugh. Okay. Let's flip the switch. God, there's gotta be one, right? Maybe I gotta use, press this little button? No. Use this terminal. No. Here we go. Wait for me. <laughs> Is there one on this side? Yeah, maybe not. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Indeed. You seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are you doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. 
On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Um, me, I'm Alex Hawthorne. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. <laughs> You're not what I expected to find on Monarch. I'm gonna have a look around town. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. See, people are just like... That depends. What is it? I got this Rizzo's... Everybody has to ask you for a favor. ...coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Sure, I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Yeah, I mean, everybody in this game, you show up, hey, do me a favor, uh, I barely know you, but will you, will you fucking change my life for me? I know that's not, it's not an always a life-changing favor, but sometimes it is, man. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Hmm. Who are you? Name's Nioka. I'm the best big game hunter on the planet. You're also the loudest big game hunter on the planet. And the drunkest. Shut the fuck. Fair point. I deserve it, though. On account of being the best. My dad always kept his firearms and liquors in different lockers. Said it wasn't safe to mix them. Out here, if you ain't a little buzzed, you're liable to notice the stench of life. The grit in the air. The dust in every drink and the blood on every boot. Yeah, uh, nice, nice to meet you, Nioka. I'm Boris McConnell. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? <laughs> Uh, I'll stay in chat, but you look like you've had enough. I'm told you can get me to an information broker. Sure, another round, bartender. Outstanding! What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Vacation. Just seeing what it's like for myself. People talk about... Talk it up like it's a shithole. Vacation. Oof. Some hell you've chosen. You must really love fish. Allergic, actually. I was kidding. I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Sure, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. <laughs> and if I can't get a steroid or caffeine something or other... Steroid or caffeine somethings, you don't even know what you're talking, what you're taking. You mean caffeinoid? That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. 
We got a deal or what? All right, I'll be back. All right, let's take a quick tour around town, try to gather up any goddamn quests we can. Wouldn't mind smelling like salt tuna if we could sell more. Oh, fun, fun. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. <sighs> Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your yap like that. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. He'll come back eventually. He have, he'll come back eventually. You can, can you can't constrain a person's freedoms. Do you have rules about this sort of thing? If you say so, so find him and drag him out by his ears. He'll come back eventually. Yeah, I can't keep working double shifts either. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Uh, what's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. <laughs> he and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Why don't you just pay them more? Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. Oh, surely you can make them come back. Let's talk about something else. I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Uh, let's see. Who's this Catherine you mentioned? Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. No. Um. Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. Why can't you give him his pay increase? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's principled, in at least this area. I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, He'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Someone's going to notice your shortfalls before long. You're going to be held responsible. Are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? Let's talk. Are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. <sighs> Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Um, who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Okay. Why can't I do... Passion pills, weapons from the void, Herrick's handiwork, the secret people... Ah, uh, Grim is waiting for a check with Celia. Gotcha. Anybody else here to talk to? I don't think so. Okay. Please, oh, 
Someone help me! My boy's in trouble! Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Your child is missing. Where did you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Of course we're gonna help. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Uh, I'll help you find your son. Did you say there was a reward involved with this request? Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know once rip his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Um, where would he have gone? He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No! And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already! Um... What were you saying? Where is Amber Heights? Where is Amber Heights? That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse, the thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. Or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. Or, or maybe Marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs and made him snort him. Oh, the things that could happen to my sweet baby. I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Okay. Um. Let's Rap see. Mask and canid eyes, right here. Why don't we go do this? Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? We've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Uh, that's very generous of you. No, you have a meeting with me. <laughs> that's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. Jesus. <laughs> but not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? I'm just looking for the information broker. Me, I'm charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Hey, it could always be both. Afraid not. If I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food in this sprat fucked colony, I'm going to stab someone. Hey, it could always be both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. 
I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. What exactly are, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. now. We've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. And you're tired of scrounging and scrapping by it, is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Mr. Vicar, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. Yes, <laughs> it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. So, what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, my dear. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach. And the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. This Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Ordinance or ordin... Or, or, ordinance or ordinance. An ordinance, of course. We do things in a civilized fashion here. Not like Graham's iconoclasts. There's nothing the board likes so much as paperwork. Can a legal document really be that important? So where do I find this ordinance? Once you have the Bolt 52, what's the other part of your plan? Can a legal document if really... If I didn't know any better, I'd say you just crawled out from under a rock. Forms and procedures are everything in Halcyon. And this one is located <clears throat> in the old arms building southwest of town. Which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Then I, then I guess I'll go get your Bolt 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to Marauders and Raptodons out there. Yeah, but they oh, weren't Marauder Boris McConnell. There be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Uh, sure. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Oh, Grim asked me to check with you about his Tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Earlier I overheard you say you were having money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self, and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Jesus. <laughs> not that I got any prior experience with such. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptodon acid. Do you normally blow your money on Raptodon parts? <laughs> Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth. Or a mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying so much from Sebastian? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. 
I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Maybe I can talk to him for you, just ask him on a date. I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Okay, oh, I'll just get involved in your love life. He breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Wait, I'm curious. What do you... Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, well, is there anybody else to talk to in here? Um... Executive, executive. No, not really. Okay. So, I saw Sebastian right over here. Give him a quick talking to. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who is looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? Oh, why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Provardi, you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. He left the veil, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Where have you seen a Manta Queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Deal. Sure, I can keep out, keep an eye out for him. If he's a friend of Provardi, I suppose I ought to. Thanks, Captain. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Last Mana Queen I saw was in the wilds out that -a -ways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. Okay, let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that raptid on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? She likes you. Nice of you to say. I like her, too. No, I mean, she really likes you. And I gotta admire anyone with her passion for canid hides. But you don't have to butter me up. Since you've got so much in common, maybe you should just maybe you should let her take you out. You idiot, I'm trying to tell you she wants to date you. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smite at her. Smote? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Oh my gosh. She doesn't want a discount. She's attracted to you. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Kind of a little slow. You and me, Captain. I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's where we're going to end this episode, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been the Outer World Saga on the Madness Me... The Outer World Saga, eh, the Outer, eh, the Outer World Saga, Episode Five on the Madness Media YouTube channel. Um, I've been Brian. 
Uh, you can check out, please check out our podcast, It's a Man World After All. You can either go to Google Music and look it up there, or you can go to our website at madnessmedia.space. Uh, and check me out on Twitch at madnessmedia16 on the Twitch channel. I've um, been playing Monster Hunter World recently, so come check it out. You know, I'm just restarted, so it's a little slow right now, but I'm hoping to power through and get up to the Master Rank stuff pretty quick, so... Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like button and have a good day. Peace.